Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to Matthew 6, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Is Christ first in everything in your life? And how do you know if you've made him number one? Hallelujah. Let's look at this. Everything that we do and everything that we are and everything that we say has to be accepted by our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews 12, 28 says this. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Is he accepting who you are today, child of God? Is God accepting you as the Christian you're supposed to be? Because if he's not, then he's not number one in your life. It is time to make him number one today. Let's look at another. He has to approve of all that we do. A lot of Christians don't ask for his approval. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. We're supposed to get God's permission before we just do any old thing. Christians get out in the world and they act like God is way off in heaven and that he's not watching them and that he's not listening to them and that they get off by themselves and they start making their own decisions and they get in trouble ultimately with God. He has to approve of what we do, people of God. Now, imagine this. The majority of church will also agree with this. Bless God. You don't have to give account to God for the church, but you have to give account for yourself. You need to give account of everything you do in your secret time. He needs to be pleased with everything you do. Because one place in the Bible says that with many of them, God was not well pleased because they fell in the wilderness. According to 1 Thessalonians 2.4, but as we are allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God, which tries our hearts. We have to please God. Are you pleasing God with all that you do and that with all that you have? If we have him as number one in our lives, we will live for him. If we have Christ number one in our lives, you'll look to him according to Hebrews 12 too. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He started this thing. And he's going to finish it, child of God. We need to look to him. Let us come boldly to the throne room of grace that we may obtain mercy. What's Christ got going on in your life? Is he with you at your job? Or are you all by yourself? You can hide it from me, but you can't hide it from God. You can hide it from your spouse. You can hide it from your pastor. You can hide it from your friends, but you cannot hide anything from God. God wants to be first place in your life. Make him first place above your marriage, above your children, above your material possessions, above your career, above everything else, above your friends. Make him first place. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that we have put you last in our life for too long and we want you to be number one now and forever. We pray that you would also forgive us of our sins and casting them all into the sea of forgetfulness. 
never to be remembered anymore. We vow now to put you first, to do that which you have called us to do. We vow to pray before that we do anything so that we may know and might know that it is your will before we pursue whatever it is that you're calling us to do. Lord, that we may not go and make willy-nilly decisions, but Lord, we pray that it will be in agreement with you. Lord, let every person also who hears this prayer experience divine intervention from you. Awaken the seed of person of purpose within each and every one of them today. Lord, let nothing be broken another day in their lives. Make every broken and cracked road straight for each and every person listening today. Lord, we pray, we call forth their gifting. Holy Spirit, awaken their potential and release the chains of mental stress and depression over their lives today in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for making your home in our hearts. We need your presence today. Lord, help us, Lord, to honour you with our thoughts, with our words, with our actions. And Lord, that we will be a blessing to all of those around us today. Lord, we thank you for blocking everything that was created to destroy us. We thank you that you are protecting us, that you have our best interests at heart. Lord, we pray today, we no longer just want to live from paycheck to paycheck, but we declare today that each person listening today, that they will go from not enough to more than enough, because Jesus, you are more than enough. And as we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, everything else shall be added unto us. Oh Lord, we desire you. Oh Lord, we seek your face today. Oh Lord, Lord, I pray a blessing upon each person from the top of their heads to their soles of their feet. Heal those that need healing. Deliver those that need deliverance. Lord, bless your people today as they seek you in spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And the Lord has just been showing me that as someone with depression right now, and God is going to deliver you of that depression. And it's also mixed with anxiety. I pray today that that depression and anxiety will come out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it right now. Come out of them. Come out of them. Come out of them in the name of Jesus. As someone with ulcers, you have an issue with ulcers and the pain that goes with ulcers. I command right now that ulcer pain to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever or whoever has ulcers and ulcer pain and condition. I complete pray for complete healing and wholeness over you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I also speak a creative miracle, a creative miracle for Philippian tubes that have been cut. Lord, I'm believing today for a creative miracle to take place with that person that has had their Philippian tubes cut. Lord, that they may still be able to conceive in the name of Jesus. Lord, that you'll bring a creative situation. You will turn that situation around right now in the name of Jesus. I declare now a creative miracle to take place in the woman's reproductive area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I also pray for any heart conditions. Anybody that has a heart condition right now, I speak healing and wholeness over that heart right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to diabetes. You will come under the obedience of Christ. Lord, I pray for the pancreas, Lord, that they will be able to release, Lord, what they need to release in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak complete healing and wholeness. I also speak to those with cholesterol issues, any high blood pressure or any high cholesterol issues. Those things will come back into the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray also that the people will start to eat well also in the name of Jesus. I also come against HIV, HIV positive people that are listening to this message under the sound of this voice right now. Be healed and delivered in the name of Jesus. I come Man, this spirit of infirmity from HIV to come 
out of their body and to leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against anybody that has genital warts right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that STD right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I also speak to anybody that has cancer right now if you are suffering with cancer or you nobody know someone that is suffering from cancer i declare healing over that spirit of infirmity and i command that spirit of cancer you will come under the obedience of the sound of this tongue right now you will come out of their body right now i command you you will come out of them you'll not only manifest yourself right now but you will come out of that body you will come out of that body i command you to in the name of jesus christ i command you to i command you to to come out of that body and leave them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of jesus christ and right now i command that spirit of cancer that spirit of death you are cancelled today in the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of death, it is cancelled today. I speak life. 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 I speak life right now in the name of Jesus. We declare life over every person that is over their sickbed right now. I speak life over them that they shall live and not die and they shall declare the good works of the Lord. I speak life into their spirit. I speak life into their body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare your healing touch and power over each person that is listening today. Whatever their condition is, I speak to eyes right now. I speak to eyes to be open. Eye conditions to be healed right now. Eye conditions to be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to he, those conditions within the eye right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus we declare this today in jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen this is pastor robert clan it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom shalom Shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. And please don't ever underestimate the power of what God is doing through these prayers. Like every day there is something that God is doing. You know, like we've got the uh, all the different prayers that God releases at a particular time or even prophetic words of knowledge. So God is sending forth his word and he will perform his word it has nothing to do with pastor robert it's just we are vessels god is going to get all the glory in this hour so if you know someone and we start speaking these words of knowledge or whatever it may not be specifically for you it could be for someone else and when you hear okay a specific condition maybe i might say uh glaucoma or i might say any issue or that might rise up. don't just say well or oh, or if that's for me maybe it's for someone else no, claim it as being yours because it's all got to do with faith. When you claim it as yours, God starts to bring the fulfillment of that within your life. Sometimes it's not just a big bang and you see, you know, like manifestation of something. Maybe it's in five days time, you go to the doctor and find out that your conditions change or you put on your glasses and they become blurry. You go back to the eye specialist and then you think, oh, maybe it's something wrong with your glasses because you don't need glasses anymore hallelujah or whatever the condition is you will find that things will start to change maybe it's diabetes all of a sudden you're healed and then you're still taking the medication but now the medication starts to have a reverse effect because you don't need it anymore the insulin that is provided produced by the pancreas is healed in the name of jesus so receive your healings receive them as they want and then the doctor will just confirm because remember God created the doctor also so when you go back to him he will just confirm whatever it is but you got to remember you got to speak God's word over your life over your health over your family in Jesus mighty name so from my family to yours God bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom 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 <laughs>